What's good everybody? Gilbert Blaze is back. I hope you enjoy my little gay ass intro. After all, I am the happy homosexual. <laughs> Alright, enough about that. Before I get into SummerSlam, I do want to briefly talk about Hard Justice. I thought this was actually a really good pay-per-view, great wrestling in terms of that. And um, I mean, I wasn't like actually impressed. You know, TNA has knocked off three pay-per-views back to back to back. That was very decent. Now, yeah, Victory Rose ending was a little horrible. Some Mercy had a little bit of horrible, shady stuff. But it was still overall a very good show. So Hard Justice was great. Kurt Angle versus AJ Styles was awesome. I love that match. But now, let's go talk about SummerSlam. The hottest block party of the summertime. SummerSlam has been around for a long time. It's always been one of my favorite pay-per-views. They've always had really good matches that stand out. And I think this card might be a really decent card this year. I know a lot of people ain't really buzzing about it, but I do think that it's going to be a good card. So let's talk about the first match. MVP versus Jeff Hardy. I think this is potentially going to be like the sleeper match of the night. Now, they had a match on a, a pay-per-view a while ago, and it wasn't that good. But I'm, I've been liking like the lead-up to this match. MVP has been attacking Jeff Hardy personally, and I really enjoy that. And, you know, Jeff is trying his best to good to look good on the mic. You know, he always has a, a problems on the mic. But he's trying to improve on that. But I definitely see this feud possibly continuing because there's really nothing for them to do right now. So, I really want MVP to win. But if you notice, Jeff Hardy's been losing a lot of matches lately. So, I think he's due for a win. So, I will predict that Jeff Hardy will win this match. So, the second match we're going to talk about is the winner-take-all tag team match. This match is I'm really looking forward to. You got the women's title and the Intercontinental title both on the line. Kofi Kingston and Mickey James defending their titles against Beth Phoenix and Santino Marella. This is going to be a fun match. I'm really high. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm really high on both of the all four of these guys, for that matter. And I'm looking for Beth and Santino to be the new champions. I want to see Beth as a women's champion again because really Mickey James' title run has been really boring. I haven't really really enjoyed it. So, yeah, let Beth get the title back. Santino, on, on the other hand, being any kind of champion, not too high about that because, as we all know, he's like a comedy wrestler now. But since the IC title ain't really worth nothing anymore, you might as well put the strap back on him and see what happens with that. So I'm looking for a fun match with this. Santino and Beth, new champions. Now let's talk about the third match. We got the ECW championship match on the line. Mark Henry defending the title against Matt Hardy. I know a lot of people are saying, well, oh, this match is going to suck. It's going to be horrible. A lot of people aren't high on Mark Henry. Yes, I'm not too high on him either. But I haven't complained. I had no, really no complaints about him being ECW champion. We all know that title is pretty worthless. So why not give it to him? He's been in the company for a long time. So that's his first singles title that he had in a very long time. He had a European title a way, way, way back in the 90s. And... That was very forgettable. So, him now that he's champion, I'm predicting this is not going to be match of the year. But, I think they're going to continue this feud. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Mark Henry is going to defend the title and um, win the match. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, oh, no, that's impossible. He can't win this match. But, I really do think it is possible because they want to pro prolong it. There's really nothing going on on ECW right now, so why give the title to Matt Hardy right off the bat, and then it's like, okay, the man, is Mark Henry going to be out the pitcher? Even though I would like to see John Morrison versus Matt Hardy, that would be great. Evan Bourne versus Matt Hardy, that would be great. And there's a rumor about Gregory Holmes going to ECW, that would be awesome to see a Gregory Holmes, Matt Hardy feud. So we'll see what happens there, but I will predict that Mark Henry will retain the title. Now, on to the match that a lot of people have been talking about. John Cena versus Batista. This match has been a few years in the making. As soon as Batista got traded to Raw, I knew they were going to set this match up, but I didn't think they were going to set this match up so soon. I think this kind of match should have been waited for next year's WrestleMania. But, as you see now, it's going to take place at SummerSlam. I haven't really liked the build-up to this match as much. Yeah, they won the tag team titles, but they, hold, they did that whole angle before with rivalries being tag champs and I'm glad they only had it for like one week thankfully they lost the tag titles this week on Raw but I am kind of looking forward to this match of course neither one are the greatest wrestlers but they're both great at power moves they're very aggressive so we're going to see a really knockout drag out 
kind of power move kind of match, it really might work out for them. You know, I'm this whole Batista showed up shows up and brings his A game because you know how he can be very lackluster at times. John Cena I'm sure is there to show up. And you know I haven't been that hating on John Cena for a long time now. I kinda calm down on the hate for John Cena because I think he has improved as a wrestler. Yes, shoot me now, I said it. Look for Batista to win this match. And I say this because the way Batista's been acting, it's been kind of heelish to me. So I want to see Batista turn heel. I've been seeing this for a long time now. I want to see Batista turn heel because his character needs to be refreshing again. So I'm looking for Batista to win this match. He's going to turn heel and like really fuck up John Cena. And then they're going to continue this start of a feud that they're going to be having. So Batista will win this match. I hope so. Now let's talk about the heavyweight title matches. First heavyweight title match for the World Heavyweight title. CM Punk defends the title against JBL. Now, I know a lot of people are high on JBL. I'm not very high on JBL. But JBL is a great heel. He got phenomenal mic skills. He gets great heel heat, and that's very important. This match isn't going to be all that good. But I am hoping, hoping that CM Punk escapes with a victory. And I do predict that he will retain the title and win and if he does, I will be happy because then he could prolong his title. Now, you can expect to see a good brawl between these two. But overall, I think Punk is going to get the GTS, go to sleep, and JBL will be done. I am hoping, and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, that Chris Jericho will be the next heel in line to get a title push. Because I think Jericho has what it takes now to become the heavyweight champion again. We'll see what happens there. But, C but CM Punk will definitely retain the title. Now, on to the next championship match for the world championship Triple H defends the title against the great Kali. Now I know everyone is hating this match yes I'm included but from what I heard great Kali don't got a lot of time left in WWE his knee has been really really bothering him he had knee surgery a while back I guess the rehabbing didn't go well his knees continue to bother him so they're going to try to use him up as much as possible before he leaves because I see him after this match maybe having Unless we're a roll on SmackDown, and he's going to be completely out the picture and done with wrestling because his body just can't handle it. So yes, Triple H will obviously win this match. How he'll win it? Will he get? Will Kali get squashed? We'll see. But I definitely see Kali getting his ass handed to him. So Triple H could look good as always. Now on to the last match, the Hell in the Cell match. Yes, I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping this is the last match of their feud so they can finally move on. It's obvious that Undertaker is going to win this match. He never loses a return match. So Undertaker will win this match. This match is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be brutal. I can't wait to see it. So that is my SummerSlam predictions. And before I go, yes, Shawn Michaels will be making an appearance at SummerSlam. He's going to be having a big announcement. There's no way in hell Shawn Michaels is going to retire. If he's going to retire, it's going to be at WrestleMania. It could be possibly this year because WrestleMania is going to be at be in Texas, so you never know, but I definitely see Shawn Michaels saying that he's not done with wrestling and probably Jericho will come out and try to attack him, and they're going to end up brawling again. So, that should be interesting to see, but I kind of wish Shawn Michaels had a match on pay-per-view, but I can understand why he was off television. So, that's my SummerSlam predictions. Let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to this pay-per-view. We'll see what happens, folks. Peace.